to my new video and hello to all my new subscribers. It's really lovely to have you here. Um, this evening, I wasn't say today, but it's actually this evening. So this evening, I'm going to show you how I do my everyday makeup routine. So as you can tell, this is me with no makeup. So please don't say any bad comments in the description bar, in the comments below. But anyway, um, this is just an everyday um, makeup routine. I do wear less and more makeup depending upon what I'm doing throughout the day you know I, I have a job and I also um, go to university so that it does differ quite a lot as to how much I how much effort I put into my look every day um, I'm also going to do um, a video like this but for when I go out which is going to be a little bit different um, pretty much the same just with a bit more <laughs> just with a bit more of everything but yeah I hope you enjoy if you have any requests comments or um, like queries please let me know put them all down below and I will speak to you soon Thank you for watching. Lots of love. Bye. Okay, so in the summer, I never wear foundation, and I have never really worn foundation, um, apart from in the last few months. And that is because my skin suddenly got really dry, and it just didn't. The colour it didn't really look good the whole over my, the whole way over my face. And so where I usually would just put concealer around my redness and blemishes, and then put bronzer on, it wasn't quite translating well. I didn't think anyway. So I went out and bought this, which is the Rimmel Match Perfection uh, Foundation in 200, which is soft beige. And this is a really light um, foundation, which I really love and actually I've been using pretty much every day since I bought it. So I just put one pump on the back of my hand and I use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. And I stipple it onto each cheek first, so sort of like an even... Um, distribution distribution of it on my cheeks and yeah then I rub it in no particular order of rubbing it in and no particular shapes that I use I just try and make sure that I get into all of the corners of my face um, blending obviously the whole time into my hairline into my nose and lips and I also go with my eyelids because I don't know if you noticed my eyelids are actually quite red toned and so they can look really odd as far as colour is concerned anyway. This is quite a dewy finish foundation and very much a um, light to medium coverage which is really buildable but I do try and put, put it on sparingly unless I'm going out in an evening. I then use a little bit of that foundation on my neck and then on my decolletage area and anywhere that I have a little bit more redness which is generally just the bottom areas of my cheek and already I think I look a lot better just because my colour is a lot more kind of uniform and a lot better around my face but yeah my next step is usually my eyebrows which I don't do a lot to but I really do not like my eyebrows they're one of the main features of me that I just really hate and I think it's because I have a mono brow, <laughs> it's, you know, loud and proud, not really. Um, I do pluck, wax, you know, I do everything to maintain them, but it is an everyday thing that I have to, like, check them. And it's like, oh, my God, how are my eyebrows in the morning? Which sounds kind of mental, but hey hey. So I try and keep it really simple, but I do have kind of a routine with my eyebrows. But anyway, let's move on. I use a Natural Collection Clear Mascara um, just to brush them all into going the right direction and to brush my eyebrows into shape. I do that on both sides. And please note that I do this actually before I fill any of my eyebrows in. That is just because my eyebrows are really unruly, they do go in different directions, so I'd like to make them all going in the correct direction before I start correcting, you know, what, what's filled in where. Before I fill those in though, I go and do my bronzer. I use Hoola by Benefit and I have been using this bronzer since for about a year now. Um, and I use the Real Techniques contour brush to do this. I concentrate to start with, because um, I have such a round face, I try and make some cheekbones. So I concentrate um, towards my hairline to start with where the um, powder will distribute the most amount. I work a little bit on my forehead coming from my hairline. And kind of work in a brushing backwards motion across my cheek but working with that same line that I've created. 
if I was to go out, this is just from every day, but if I was to go out, I do kind of go a little bit overboard with the bronzer, but that's what I like, and I'm from Essex anyway, so that's fine. If you don't know anything about Essex girls, then you should Google them. <laughs> I'm not like that, I promise. But anyway, I do the same on both sides. And I'm sorry if I'm looking here, by the way, it's because I have a mirror. And um, that's how I'm trying to not look silly. I do try and just spread a little bit of the bronzer across the apples of my cheeks as well because naturally I'm quite a flushed person so when I you know talk I naturally have some rosacea to my cheeks so I don't put any blusher on particularly often. I also work that bronzer around my chin and neck area and sometimes on my collarbones and things but not as I'm wearing it more like for in the summer when I'm not tanned. Next step will be to fill in my eyebrows and I use this which is the collection or collection 2000 um, I think it's called, what's it called? Eyebrow Definer in number 3 which is blonde. It's almost like a little khaki colour but it, I think it works really well and considering I'm not actually naturally blonde I think it works pretty good. But yeah, I do really light strokes Oh, try not to get it on my forehead but I do really light strokes through my eyebrow trying just to fill in the gaps where my hair is missing. I generally concentrate on the kind of the arch area on this eye and then on this area on this eye, where I don't know if you can see it is slightly less, it's slightly sparse underneath it's where I've got a chicken pox scar. So sadly no hair grows there. So there's my eyebrows. I'm worried they look a bit dark, but they look okay in real life, I promise. Anyway, um, next step would probably be concealer, which is kind of a backwards thing, but I don't usually wear a lot. Um, generally, I use it around my nose and if I have any blemishes. So I'm just going to pop that around there and then on the one blemish that I can see. And any redness that's popping through. I don't usually do this after bronzer, but sometimes I do, um, just so that I can use it as almost like a highlight as well as a cover up. And I'm using the pointed foundation brush by Real Techniques, just to. I'm not going to rub it in. I'm just dabbing it, or blotting, whatever you'd like to say. Next step will be my eyes. Um, I have really kind of blonde eyelashes, so I generally always have to wear mascara whether I'm wearing face makeup or not, because um, I just don't look like I've got any eyelashes in my eyes anyway. Um, I don't think I have particularly large eyes. I think they're quite um, long, but not particularly big. Um, I So I do try and concentrate on my upper lashes. I don't put any mascara on my lower lashes, just so, I, I feel it makes my eyes look bigger because they're not surrounded by black on both ends. And at the moment I'm using the Revlon Grow Luscious Plumping Mascara in Blackest Black, which is 001. Okay, that's one. And also generally I put about two or three layers of mascara on, um, just because I really like my eyes being a popping feature. There we go. Okay, so there's my eyes done, and generally I will put one more layer of mascara on before I leave the house. But the next step is to highlight, and I use a natural collection from Boots Eyeshadow in Willow. Um, it's a kind of neutral taupe colour, and it's really reflective of light. And then I use a MAC 219 brush, and I pop my highlight right in the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if you can actually notice any difference on camera. And I also use it on the brow bone there. And sometimes, just on the top of my cheekbones, 
then I do rub that in. So I'm going to do one more layer of mascara, which will be Rimmel's Volume Flash Mascara. I think it's called Scandalize. And that's in 001 Black as well. And there you have it. That is my everyday look. I generally put a lip balm on, but I generally like to keep with a really nude lip. And yeah, that's my everyday look. So I hope you enjoyed. As I said, please let me know if you've got any requests or um, comments. And I'll speak to you guys soon. Lots of love. Bye. Of mascara, which is going to be Rimmel's Volume Flash. 23 hours. That was my computer. Um, blob it all over my eyelid. So. Ah. La, 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 la. I think I'm done. I'm just going to do...